Hi, I hope all is well. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany. I also go by Your Nail Plug X. I'm a licensed nail technician that specializes in luxury handcrafted press on nails. Here on my channel, I love to discuss entrepreneurship, press on nail business, uh, anything business related really, self care, nails, nails, and more nails. So in today's video, I want to discuss um, charging our worth and how to get our product cost. So just gonna get right into it. It's gonna be a pretty brief video um, and it'll go over just some of the things that you should keep in mind when uh, pricing out your products that you're selling and so, or services. This, this video is good for anyone that offers nail services or does press on nail business. So just gonna get right into the video. It should be pretty brief and we'll just cover some of the main uh, things to keep in mind when setting your prices. So, when setting a price for your products or services, you need to keep in mind how much it actually costs to offer the service or product. So this is going to be the cost that it takes to make your product. So you have to understand what products you need to do full service or create your product and then uh, do a little, you know, a little math equation <laughs> to figure out the cost. So I'll be very brief with this so it's not too confusing, but I will link down below a sheet that you can write out everything on. It's a printable. I created it. Uh, it's what I use to, um, you know, figure out what my cost is and then I throw in my cost. But, okay, so, anyway. <laughs> um, so let's say for my press on nail business, I need to factor in every single product that I need to create the finished product for my customer. So that goes from the nails to my bubble mailers to um, any sort of packaging, glue, my gels that you know my nail art whatever everything i need um i factor that into the finished product cost so say i have all my products usually buy in bulk and then um i just divide that by however many sets i can do with uh the products and this is uh would be the exact same for any nail service so if you're say you're doing a nail service you want to know how much to charge you can think about your acrylic, how much acrylic and monomer um, can be used in your one package of each thing to be used on however many customers. I feel like this is already confusing. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, you have all your product, however many uh, sets that you can create out of all the products in total that you need, um, then you can get your actual price. Also factor in your shipping cost in this. So that way you make all of your money back that you spent. And then we get to the fun part where we can actually add our personal price in once we get our cost of goods price all figured out. Once again, I'll have um, a little template below that will be very helpful with instructions and breaks it down a little more clearly than how I'm doing it here because it's, you know, kind of hard to explain it as a general whatever, whatever. Um, so. When thinking about what we want to charge, I see a lot of people mention in like Facebook groups or Instagram, it's like, how much would you pay for this? What would you charge for this? And so on and so on. I find that question a little bit irritating because it's like, no one can tell you how much you should charge and you shouldn't let anyone be able to, deter uh, to determine that. You should be able to know how much you should charge. So like I said, you need to know, you need to understand how much it costs to make the product or do the service and then you need to put on what your time is worth to create that, right? So when people ask that, I mean, I get it, it's to get a general idea of what other people may be charging, and that's really good. You should know like what your competitors are charging, so then you can have an idea of like the range you could charge your stuff in. But really, I mean, I've seen people charge $1,000 or $20 for something, so it's really up to you, your skill set, and your knowledge. So when you are setting your personal price, you should think about how long it takes you to create the product. Um, your skill set. Are you super talented? Like, are you <laughs> amazing at drawing or design? Like, whatever it is. Um, also, your knowledge on nail care. If you're doing in-person services, is your service, there's there anything special about your service? Um, Anything like that. Also, um, so I know when a lot of people are starting off, they're like confused on how to price their stuff and they're nervous because they're new. Like I've been there, I've charged $20 for something that should have been way more. But 
you know, when you're starting off, your skills aren't that good and you don't know if you're gonna run into any complications later down the road with like when someone leaves <laughs> and they have the product going that lips or something. So I think for you, you should charge you know to make your money back on the products that you use and then charge something extra for yourself whatever you feel like you're worth and um, let people know at their service if you're charging a very low rate like hey you know I'm new I'm learning I uh, just this is my entry rate for this service this will change it is guaranteed to change in the near future or later down the road but this is what I'm going to price myself at right now that way I can have a little bit of income but also get the practice and I'm not losing any money for my time that I'm giving you uh, for this service so that's really important to keep in mind I know a lot of people are like oh I'm new or how do I price my stuff or you, you don't feel like worthy enough to charge something more if you're good and you know everything is great then charge it full price whatever but if you're feeling a little self-conscious and slowly grow um, how much you charge over time it, and people will understand and they'll be okay I think it's great to just let them know up front how much uh, or how things will change I have my iPad here to see any other notes I have <laughs> so I kind of have here yeah don't lowball yourself um, because you feel self-conscious or anything don't lowball yourself to fit someone else's budget if someone's like oh that's too expensive or they say they can get it done somewhere else well then that's fine they can go somewhere else um, but just let them know the reasons why they should have that service or buy that product from you is because of whatever your reasoning is why are you different why do you stand out why are you worth their hard-earned money you know and also nails are a luxury they're not you know a necessity it's nothing that people need, it's not life or death. It is a luxury, just like if you get your hair done, your makeup done, your lashes, any of that, you know? So keep that in mind. Um, and let's get past the chop shop nail salon prices. Let's get past the Etsy press on nails. I don't know if these people are doing it for hobby selling press on nails for $10 prices. It's just, that doesn't make any sense. So, okay, so I think that's it. I was a little rambly. So to kind of wrap up this video because I'm a little bad at videos. I'm trying to get better. You know, I get nervous on camera <laughs> and I start to ramble and go past the topics really fast, but whatever. So to wrap this up, uh, yes, understand the product cost, service cost, all the, all the stuff. That would be the cost of every product that you need to do the service. Uh, taxes, any fees if you're doing any um, online store or if you have Square or booking, whatever. Every single cost factor that in so you're not losing any money anywhere. Uh, factor in your skill set, factor in your knowledge, fact, factor in everything, your time, every single thing. Um, explain to customers why you're different why you deserve their money i don't think that you should do a whole begging aspect or nagging aspect that a lot of people do like oh well i charge this because of this like a whole list just be like hey look i use top of the line products i have so much so many times or <laughs> however many years or months educating myself i've gone to school you know whatever it is you know it doesn't need to be a long list but just let people know like a nice sentence about why and then show your work and then it just shows for itself and that's pretty much how to charge for your services and products okay i hope this video made sense i know it's a little bit all over the place but you get the idea of how you should price your products out use the uh, template that i have down below it has instructions they explain things way better because you know i think i'm a little bit better at typing than talking there's fill in the blanks and um, you can add extras and whatever so yeah thank you so much for watching this video if you watch all the way through drop a nail emoji if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos if you're interested in what i talk about until next time bye